Um, it's Luigi's first game, solely for his own. And he actually is the one that gets to save the day here. He uh, is he inherited this mansion, him and him and Mario. And he comes to meet up with Mario at the mansion, but finds out that Mario is missing, and that the mansion is all haunted, and, and he needs to rid it of its ghosts and goblins in order to save Mario. And we'll see he's approaching the, the mansion here. The the artwork and the textures of this game are just awesome. Luigi's facial expressions change throughout, as well as the, the biggest effect here is the real-time lighting that you can see through his flashlight. Also in this game, we, we use uh, both the analog joysticks, one to move the, the flashlight around, the other to control the character. You can see there in the mirror how amazing this is. Flash on it, flex back and see him a little better, flash away. Very detailed. Well, we're going to go up the stairs here, see if we can't find some ghosts. This game is pretty much done. This is pretty much, uh, you know, they got, well, I think, 12, 14 rooms here. Uh, I've heard that they're going to have around 70 uh, when it's ready to be launched. So I'm sure there's still some stuff they're working on to make it a better game than we have right now. Whoa. I'm not sure, but what you do, you, you scare, you stun the ghost by flashing your flashlight on them, and that'll stop them. And then you vacuum them up. And then you, you can also touch the coins or vacuum them up. Excuse me. Do anything with the coins? Yeah, it's yet to be seen. Uh, I really, I really don't know yet. You, know? you want to obviously collect them. So what I've done here, I've, I've cleaned the room of all the ghosts. Lights come on. It's a much more warm environment. You know, you want to live here actually. And it gives us the key that we can now go into other rooms. And you'll notice here, this is a good example of, of some of the technology that GameCube's using with the translucent walls. You can see that there's a door there, but we're looking through the door. As I pull away from this door, it, it goes away. As I get closer, it reappears, go outside, switches to the next room. So it's, it's a light vacuum cleaner. Anything else? Uh, no, not yet. It sucks up the ghosts and and allows us to continue on to the next levels. The Hoover Light vacuum. That's right. That's pretty funny. Notice the smoothness of the, of the graphics here. We got. That's a cutscene, right? That's a little cutscene, yeah. Um, let's see here. What's something else cool to show, Alan? Yeah, these two rooms, right? This one. He's got the right? Oh, that's right. Now, so there's some more uh, difficult ghosts to get here. You know, with all Mario games, there's a, there's a level of easiness at the beginning as they progressively get more difficult. This one takes a little, you know, playing a little bit to understand what's going on. That, that guy comes on. Oh, well, we'll start over here on that one. I'll show you what I mean. You can suck up these little ghosts, just like that, and they can, they can knock down your health meter. But this gentleman here in this chair, when you look at him, he doesn't, he comes when you're not looking, you shine it back on, oh, he's not really there. And the trick is to get him when he's, when he's yawning. Yawn any second here. Oh, he did, did he yawn? Yeah, yeah, get up. There we go. You, you see the heart? Yeah. Start sucking him in. What does the heart mean? Uh, it just means you scared him. You caught him. And again, I freed the room. Cool. And I collect the coins. Cool. So, that is pretty much Luigi's Mansion.